if the fish are dying and, and if the birds are dying, then we're going to die. Waste dump. What made the difference was the people of Love Canal. So wait a second. This is not how we have to live. The great question of the 70s is, shall we surrender to our surroundings? Or shall we make our peace with nature and begin to make reparations for the damage we have done to our air, to our land, and to our water? Earth Day launched the second wave of environmentalism. Yo, we're gonna go see what they're up to. Yo, friends, friends, friends! What's up, dude? Yo, what's up? How you doing? Carter has literally no respect for the environment. Dude, yes, I do. I he, swear. I don't. Have you ever turned these lights off in this room once? Yeah, but why would I turn them off when they're so? Have you ever unplugged so your charger? They're fluorescent. They're sick. Who wants natural sunlight when you can sit in here and smoke cigarettes that harm the environment and drink out of glass bottles all day? Who cares? Do you recycle? No, I use them as decorations. Have you Look, ever once considered your carbon footprint, Carter? Ever? Only footprint I care about is my Jordans. Do you think, do you think anyone else cares, like, uh, or do you no. just, like... I think everyone just wants to chill and just be college. <laughs> yeah, Dude, right? Do you care? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I mean how, much, how much can you really care, you know? It's like... I care a lot. It's not affecting you right now. It will. When? When Florida's gone, thank God. <laughs> when and Florida's there gone. there are no more beaches in Maine and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. And, whoa. Whoa. and California has floated off into the ocean... And okay. the small I tropical see islands one, I want to see one of Fiji are gone. bit of factual evidence that supports that. Ouch. It's my guitar strumming on. Well, you know what? I'm going to just let you know. Your guitar strumming skills, they're not going to get the babies. Um. Whoa! <laughs> that's bright. Shoot. Um. Well, dang. I don't really believe climate change is real. Well, you know what? People do believe so. What people? Everyone. Who? Besides All right, let's the Republicans. Go out, let's go out. Let's go out and see who cares. Let's go out. Okay, right good. Okay. Fun. Good. Okay, you wanna go? It's a deal. All right. Let's go find the people. Hey baby. Born and raised. Hi Armin. Bye Armin. All right, guys, if you're just tuning in, this is Climate Change 101. Okay, Sips, see that guy on the bike? Yes. He's doing something that you should do, which is saving energy and fossil fuels right. by taking his bike to work. Not only is it more fuel efficient, but it also he can weave in and out of traffic and get to work a little bit faster while you're just sitting here driving this gas guzzle. <laughs> more self-sustainable living? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying that... Um... No, it's more expensive to be I think, I think you're right. I think that's true in the current paradigm that we live in. But I think that we can switch the paradigm through working together on more self-sustainable and efficient ways of living. Um, if you, if you uh, embrace more sustainable ways of living, like solar panels and composting and riding a bike, if I didn't live in a city, yes, but I live in a city, and... In a city, you could walk places. Well, you could, but I'm also an international student, so I have this car, and if I sold it, then I would have no other way to, get, to travel and things like that. And I'm also a musician, so having a car is really, really, like, it's a lifesaver when you need to go on tour and things like that. Um, and I'm just, I'm literally arguing for my reasons of why why I use this gas guzzler. Yeah, so the benefits do outweigh um, the problems. Well, I think we're just comfortable. Hey, folks, so we're here with uh, we're here with Kate Lanier, a uh, student. Where do you go to school now? I'm Carter Bowers, by the way. Nice to meet you. Emerson College. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, we're just here talking about uh, raising awareness for the uh, global change and the uh, and the changing climate. So we're just going to ask you a couple questions about what you do to uh, help reduce your carbon footprint on the on the ever changing scope of the earth. Oh, all right. Well, I really try to recycle. I love recycling just because I know it's helping the environment. 
And for transportation, I try to use like my bike or I rollerblade sometimes. Um, I try to be really green. I think if you can do your share to help the environment, um, why wouldn't you do it? Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's something to believe in. I think it's something to like either accept or to not accept. Like you, it's kind. Of, it's like you know, when people present you with like factual information, you either are somebody who's gonna accept the fact that it's real, or you're just gonna be bullheaded about it and not. Uh, what would you say? What would you say to the <laughs> statement that the amount of warming isn't uh, actually significant? It's more of a. Well, it's not even like warming just warming necessarily because like I don't know it affects so much more it's not like it's not like you know my grandpa I love him to death but he's like somebody that'll be like oh yeah it's like 95 degrees today like <laughs> it's global warming for you right haha <laughs> and but it's not it's not really like that it's not in our atmosphere now than we did in the industrial That's, it's revolution three, three degrees celsius higher than it was pre-industrial revolution pre-industrial revolution yeah. so not during the industrial revolution uh, oh, so the Industrial yeah, Revolution industrial. is like what brought us to, okay. I mean, I'll tell you that I believe that. Or what do you know uh, you, you could possibly do that to uh, help reduce your uh, carbon footprint? I mean, I don't really drive. I don't have a car out here. Um, even back home, I don't drive my own car. I, uh, sorry, man. Um, just, I don't know, being like judicious about the way you use the resources around you. Um, you know, if everybody's trying to get theirs in another 150 years or so, nobody's going to be able to get any, you know? So I don't know. I think, I mean, you know, I try to be judicious about that sort of stuff, like not even just with like car driving and cars and shit. I try to be like good about like not leaving lights on and like little things like that. I don't know. Other than that, like, you know, I can't, I don't have the power to make like a grand change on my own, you know what I mean? <laughs> so okay. the only way that I can really help is like... We're in a fight, me and Carter. Why? Because Carter doesn't believe in climate change, because he's an idiot. I'm not an idiot, I'm just sitting here on the Esplanade on a beautiful spring day, and I see no signs whatsoever of climate change. Absolutely none. I see a bunch of huge gas guzzlers driving around, they look like... Obvious, honestly, they look like ballers, just driving around, just chilling. Pollutants and toxic chemicals grew out of a bright and shiny vision of civilization. It was an age of miracles. But it had a dark side. Flora, the chlora, flora <laughs> Climate change just makes... Climate change. Yeah, no, it's worth it, it's worth it. Climate change. Climate change! Hey all, my name is Carter Bowers, and I'm here to talk to you today about uh, an impending change in uh, social reform in this world that we call climate change. Now, many people think that, oh, climate change is just the world getting hotter, That's it's the natural way of things, but in actuality, in, as, as, my friend, and as my friend Andre 3K would say, in actuality, it is a very, very bad thing. Especially for the nation that we currently find ourselves in, in terms of the global market reform, uh, when talking about uh, when talking about the climate sustainable research and uh, and the deplenishing the de uh, deplenishing uh, fossil fuel. I'm not Thank <laughs> you.